I need to go home and take a nap and then right when I wake up just figure out what the heck I'm going to be doing for the rest of this week. everyone i just went over to tiger sugar to get some boba they unfortunately don't have the hello kitty collab going on anymore but they still have the cups and the collateral and everything so so refreshing mm. today is tuesday uh, which is my first day of in-person classes. The semester is a little weird because I'm on a hybrid schedule. So that means Monday and Wednesday, I don't have any in-person classes. Um, I don't even have any like Zoom classes. So I have two completely online classes that are asynchronous and two in-person classes that I have to attend uh, on Tuesday and Thursday. But yeah, I'm... <laughs> I'm so exhausted, like I'm so tired and I'm sweaty and this boba is the only thing that is giving me any sort of solace right now. This week is also really overwhelming for me because not only is this the first week of school, this is also my last week at my internship and a part of me just hasn't been able to process the fact that this is my last week. Like, I just keep on thinking that I'm gonna get assignments every day <laughs> forever. But it's it's just a summer internship and it has to end at some point and Friday is going to be my last day. I'm honestly gonna miss it. Uh, and on top of that, I'm also doing week two of The Artist's Way. Oh my god, I feel like I I need to go home and take a nap and then right when I wake up just figure out what the heck I'm going to be doing for the rest of this week because I have a lot that I need to get done and I have like three different- why am I holding up six fingers? I have three to-do lists just like rotating around in my mind right now. Like I have my school to-do list, I have my work to-do list, and I also have my artist way to-do list which is really just my personal to-do list. But yeah, I'm- I'm so overwhelmed and I feel like I shot myself in the foot here. Like I kind of kicked myself in the butt uh, by being just like really ambitious this week. Cause I could, I could take, you know, Friday off from work and I could move the Artist Way week two to next week, but I'm not gonna do that. Why? I don't know. I 
I'm a masochist. I'm a sadist. I <laughs> like to think that I can challenge myself by doing things this way. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but also it's like I I want to have consistency and I do want to challenge myself, you know, even if it means things are going to be overwhelming temporarily. Um, cause I feel like if I stop something, like e if I even like take a break from something that I just started, then it's like, it's kind of like, what was the point of me starting it in the first place? If I wasn't, you know, being consistent and continuous with it for a while, but yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. I'm sweating so much right now. I don't know why I like to put myself through so much suffering. I don't know. Maybe because of this mindset that I believe suffering is a good thing. When it really isn't. Like, struggling and suffering are good when, when really, like, I'm just... I'm still suffering. <laughs> I'm gonna go home, reevaluate my life, take a nap, um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. It is Friday and for my artist day I decided to do some doodling at home. I was thinking about going out to do something else but I was so physically exhausted from juggling school and work that I decided to stay home. I made myself a hot chocolate with some spices and I got these Tombow brush pens on Monday. I didn't get a chance to play around with them but Friday was the day. As you'll see in my sped up video, I decided to paint some cute ducks in my sketchbook. Just a little serotonin boost on this cloudy day. Thinking back on week two, it was definitely a struggle for me. I only did five days of morning pages 
And even then, there were days when I only did one page or two pages. I never really got to do the whole three-page thing because I was so exhausted and tired when I woke up that I just didn't have the, like, physical ability or the attention span to, like, stay up and, like, write three pages every morning. And I only completed about half of the tasks uh, from this week. I didn't get to the ones that I had been meaning to do, and overall I just kind of felt sucky and disappointed that things didn't go the way that I wanted to this week. And even more so because of the fact that like I wasn't able to take care of myself, I wasn't able to do things like clean my room or exercise consistently, uh, I wasn't sleeping as well. It's weeks like these that I have to remind myself to be gentle and be kind to myself. I am going through a transition and I can't expect myself to have it go smoothly every single time. And every single year that I've started school or gone back to school for the first week, it's always been a struggle. And it feels shitty because it feels like I've regressed and I think of that sort of feeling and that sort of regression as a bad thing, but really it's just part of the healing process. Growth is not linear, healing is not linear, it's okay if I have a bad week. The best thing to do is take the L and move on, and there's no going back. One of the sections in this week's reading that really resonated with me was about crazy makers, and the author Julia Cameron kind of introduces this idea of how crazy makers, your friends, your relationships, and the people around you who sabotage your life and take your healing journey off course. And I thankfully don't have friends or people in my life who do that, so I didn't 100% relate to that section. But as I was going through the motions this week, I realized that I find the crazy maker in myself. Like, I have a crazy maker inside of me that wants to impulse shop for things, that doom scrolls on Instagram and TikTok, that wants to drink alcohol even though I don't like it, and just kind of avoid all the necessary responsibilities in my life in favor of indulging my desires immediately. And I have to hold myself accountable to suppressing this crazy maker. And this doesn't mean that I'm suppressing my inner child, because an inner child is not the same as a crazy maker. You know, I'm not suppressing the version of me that is curious and genuine and playful, but rather I have to suppress the version of me that is self-sabotaging and sabotaging my healing journey. The part of me that doesn't believe I'll be better so I can regress to this, not childlike, but the sort of infantilized version of myself because it's easier and I don't want that. Even though this was a hard week, I look forward to next week knowing that it will be better. And I don't feel the most proud of myself or proud of this video in particular, but I think it's best to just upload it, no matter how messy and ugly it is, however much or little footage I have. Healing is a messy and an ugly process, and I'd rather show the reality than hide it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys want to follow me outside of YouTube, I am active on Instagram and TikTok. Not as active as I would personally like to be, but I am on there and I do want to do some more short form content, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, rest of your week, and I know that some of you are doing the artist way alongside me, and I'm really touched by your comments and just the overwhelming level of support that I've been getting recently from you guys and I'm I'm just so grateful and I, I thank you all so much. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see y'all next time.